The coronavirus is also triggering a roller coaster for Wall Street. Local financial professional Brian Levy from BML Wealth Management is here to share what you need to know during times of market turbulence. Good morning, Brian. Thank morning. you for being here. Thanks for having me. Now, not everybody is in the stock market, but we do know that the stock market is an indication, perhaps, where the economy is going. How concerned should we be? Well, long term, we don't know, right? The data is not there. Short term, we do know. Um, and we've seen a roller coaster, as you know, the last couple of weeks in the stock market. Yesterday alone was the biggest point drop, 2,000 points in the Dow Jones yesterday. Um, and we're right now tinkering on what they call a bear market. And, and that really is a 20% drop from the most recent high. Last week, the Fed came out and lowered interest rates. And where we're going to feel that, you know, it's good for borrowers refinancing your home, buying a car. Where it's bad is for savers. We're penalized to be savers these days and also investors. So our 401ks where we have bonds, those type of investments, that's where lower interest rates are really going to hit us. And then what about the, you know, hyperlocal, what we do here, the local economy here? I mean, like the ports, right? That's one in nine Southern California jobs are tied to the ports. People are not going out public. A million jobs. Yeah, people aren't going to the theater. I mean, you know, it's a fantasious <laughs> anything. That's right. Yeah, no, so spending, you know, the demand's going to be down, as we talked about earlier. You know, airlines, you know, the federal government came out and just said, don't go on cruise ships, right? So overall spending's going to be down. The airline um, industry stands to lose $100 billion. Exactly, yeah. So, you know, overall, it's not a good thing uh, and if you look at a lot of people end up either selling their stocks or even just stop spending and ask questions later and I think that's what we're seeing right now. Well and that's what's confusing about this lowering of the interest rates. I don't know how that's going to make people go out and go to Coachella for example. Uh, yeah, I mean, lowering interest rates, it, it, it's going to have an impact globally. Um, and when you think of, we also had the perfect storm yesterday with oil prices mm -hmm. going down. Russia um, and, Russia and, and, and Saudi, Saudi Arabia. Arabia. Um, and bringing those prices down, a lot of people think, oh, great, I can go get gas now at a lower price. But the reality is now you have people who work in the oil industry that are going to lose their jobs and profits are going to go down in those companies. So it's, it's a problem. I have to tell you, uh, President Trump tweeted on February 24th that it was a great opportunity to go out and buy stocks. And then Larry Kudlow, the very next day, who's the director of the National Economic Council, did the same thing, like, go buy stocks, go buy stocks. And then since then, in the, in, in the two weeks since, we've seen stocks continue to plummet. How much uh, should we be paying attention to this administration when it comes to advice on our stock portfolio? <laughs> well, I think everybody needs to look out for where they're at in their life, right? So for our clients that are near retirement or already retired, you should have a plan and not just have a portfolio or a portfolio of stocks because it's important to be able to fall back on it during the bad times and the good times. So you want to make sure you're working with your retirement planner, your financial advisor to um, really have a, a, a plan that can kind of be all weather. So Brian, so many of us don't have any investments in the stock market and we're just worried about the economy. This has been a bull market for like record months. It's, it goes higher since and higher. Since the Obama at, administration. Since the Obama yep. administration. It's just been going up and up. And Ten so year run. people have been predicting, you know, some kind of adjustment or correction for a long time. Are we headed toward a recession? Have, are we at the end of the line here? You know, we don't know yet, right? I think indicators prior to the coronavirus, you think of what is the coronavirus, it's really a black swan event that Trump or the, the administration or even anybody couldn't have predicted. Um, so I think at the end of the day, now that we're going into this, it's sort of a perfect storm to increase the odds of a recession, but the data isn't there to tell us, are we going to go into are recession? Are you worried? Um, I'm worried short term. Uh, long term, I'm not. You know, when you think of the stock market, you're thinking of, five, ten years long-term money. You're not though. telling anybody to sell right now. No, this would not be the time to go in unless, but we are looking at, it's a great time to reassess your risk tolerance mm -hmm. and really stress test. It's, we haven't been tested. You know, for the last 10 years, it's just been going up. So I think the biggest key is maybe reassess. Do you need to make a rebalance? Not necessarily sell out. More cash. But yeah, but well, maybe just rebalance a little bit more conservative. If this, if this is getting your stomach going and you're losing sleep at night, you probably shouldn't be in the market to begin with. There, wow. that's my my number. <laughs> <laughs> we know a lot, a lot of people in, you know, in unions are belonging to the unions, you know, teachers, whatever, their retirement accounts. Thank you so much. Brian. Thanks for having me. We appreciate it. Perspective. Thanks so much. Thank you. We'll be back.